Hello, my name's John and welcome to the first ever A Coat of Armies painting tutorials. I'll be dealing solely with uh, Warlord Games Black Powder Epic Scale Waterloo, purely on the grounds that I'm too skint to uh, branch out into any other genre. Kit wise, I've gone for a Windsor & Newton Series 7 Triple Zero Sable Brush and my Vision Aid magnifying headset with LED lights, without which none of this would be possible because I genuinely can't see for toffee. Um, I've made a head start on these chaps because I'm doing the uh, British Heavy Dragoons, these lovely chaps here. Um, I've made a start on the next sprue, uh, so I've done a rattle can undercoat of Games Workshop Chaos Black, which has unfortunately left a bit of texturing, but I can live with that. I've gone for Games Workshop White Scar White Undercoat, uh, dry brushed, gone heavy around the jacket area to make the jacket stand out a little bit better. As you can see, I've already started with the uh, Vallejo flat red for the jacket and the blanket rolls and the stripe on the legs. I've then used Abaddon black to do any areas that are generally black, like the boots and the scabbard, and any areas that will be metal, like the sword, the helmet, uh, stirrup straps, uh, stirrups even, and the little black cartridge box under his right arm there, and the firing mechanism on the carbine rifle. I've then done a base coat of Games Workshop Mournfang Brown on the horse itself. Um, I've also used it on the saddle and the carbine rifle. Having got that done, I've then used Games Workshop Cantor Blue for the saddle cloth, the cuffs and the collar. And then it doesn't show up too well, but I've used Celestra Grey as the base coat for the skin and to do the trousers. So quick coat of uh, Kislev Flesh, bright flame orange for the turnbacks on the trousers and lead belcher silver as a base coat for the sword, stirrups and the little bits on the scabbard. Can't get it in focus there, eh? how annoying. Um, after that's the next slightly time consuming bit which is a base layer of white for anything that's going to be bright yellow or gold so the edge of the, sa edge of the saddle cloth Sabre tash, edges of the cuffs, and that pretty much covers that. Okay, Avalandi yellow is on. Of course, I've done the uh, cummerbund around his middle, and I've done a single stripe down the front of his jacket. So it actually feels like we're starting to get somewhere now. And then a bit of. Uh, Vallejo brass to bougie up his crash lid and his uh, sabre hilt. A touch of uh, a brighter silver on the sword and the scabbard bits just to make them stand out and seem a little bit more brighter and polished. And I've also, you notice, put a uh, white scar, white stripe just across his uh, sash there, just as a base layer because I'll finish that off with uh, Vallejo's off white. A couple of dabs of yellow for the uh, epaulette on his shoulder there. And then it's just a case of washing the horse down with Agrax Earthshade. So now I've given it a coat of Agrax Earthshade. It might take two or three washes with that. Just to let it settle into uh, all the places it wants to naturally settle. Shows off horse's uh, muscle tone a little better. And also fills in any gaps. And as we all know... It's also quite handy for filling any visits you may have had from Mr. Cockup. So for all intents and purposes, you're done. So let's crack on and get them painted. Thank you for watching.